Now that your veterinarian has prescribed Stelfanta to treat your dog's mast cell tumor, you will want to know what the treatment will involve. So we're going to walk you through each step. Stelfanta is injected directly into your dog's tumor and begins to break down the tumor cell walls. It then disrupts the blood vessels, destroying the tumor to leave a pocket or wound where the tumor was, ready for healthy new skin and fur to grow. There are four key stages to Stelfanta treatment. Preparation, Stelfanta injection, tumor destruction, tumor site healing. Step one. Preparation. Your veterinarian will prescribe essential medications which are vital for your dog to receive two days before and eight days after Stelfanta treatment to minimize potentially serious side effects that can occur when manipulating a mast cell tumor. Unless your dog has received their pre-medication, they will not be able to receive the Stelfanta injection. On the day of your dog's Stelfanta injection, after your vet has confirmed they have received their pre-medications, they will weigh your dog and measure their tumor with calipers to calculate the correct dose of Stelfanta. Here's a patient being assessed on the day of his treatment. We'll continue to follow his treatment journey further on. Step 2. Stelfanta Injection Now. It's time to inject Stelfanta into your dog's tumor. Depending on your dog's temperament and tumor location, your vet may choose to sedate them to ensure they can treat them safely and comfortably. Step 3. Tumor Destruction Typically, there will be swelling, redness, and a bruised appearance to the tumor and surrounding skin within hours of the injection as Stelfanta starts to work. There may also be pain within the first few days, so speak to your veterinarian about pain medication if you are concerned. This is the patient's tumor eight hours after treatment. Swelling and change of color are positive signs the drug is working exactly as it should. Over the next few days, the tumor blackened and the surface started to break down, releasing a small amount of fluid. There may also be an odor detectable at this time. As is the case with most patients, this dog's tumor was left uncovered, but in some cases, veterinarians decide to cover with a bandage. If you are concerned about the appearance of the tumor site, talk to your veterinarian about how best to manage it. Swelling of the tumor site may cause your dog some discomfort in the first few days. Your veterinarian can prescribe pain medication if required. Remember to continue the essential medications during this stage to avoid potentially fatal mast cell degranulation. Patients can sometimes appear more tired or lack appetite in the first few days. But if you notice excessive tiredness, pain or lameness, repeated vomiting or diarrhea, or your dog is having trouble breathing, be sure to contact your veterinarian. Occasionally, the wound may be extensive requiring additional treatment and may take longer to heal. Excessive pain, lameness, tiredness, refusal to eat for more than one day, repeated vomiting or diarrhea, trouble breathing, changes to the treated tumor site, including increased or excessive swelling and bruising, extensive wound formation, increased irritation, or any other symptoms should be examined immediately and treated accordingly. Tumor Site Healing Four weeks after treatment, the patient's wound has healed and his fur has started to grow back. This is what is called a complete response and indicates to your vet that no further treatment is required. While the majority of patients will achieve a complete response after one treatment, some may require an additional Stelfanta injection your veterinarian can make this assessment four weeks post-treatment. Here are some more pet owners whose dogs have successfully undergone treatment. Ruby's owner documented her treatment journey and her pictures show how the tumor on her inner thigh responded within hours of the injection and then over the course of the next few weeks continued to break down before healing. Ruby's owner said, it helped her body fight it so well, it was amazing to watch because within a day it turned black and all we did was leave it. 
It is worth noting that in some cases, the wound may be more extensive. Boston's owner shared her experience using Stelfanta. It went gloopy at first, but the vet reassured us that was meant to happen. A month and a half later, and it's just a small scar that you can hardly see. And he's like a new dog. He gets excited and chases his ball and runs along the beach like his normal happy self. To help guide you through your journey, here are some points to discuss with your vet. What medications will my dog need? What about bandaging? How will my dog feel after the injection? And what will happen to the tumor? Will my dog need pain medication? What is the best method for contact if I have any questions or concerns? From the team here at Stelfanta, we wish you and your dog all the very best.